This is Hal the Woodmeister here. Uh, I'm adding a new soundtrack to this so it may not sync with uh, with what's going on in the movie because the other one had a lot of background interference. I'm going to show you how to cut a 4 by 8 piece of plywood. We have the plywood here in, and it's supported by sawhorses and workmates. There's also a saw guide in place which uh, allows me to run the saw atop of a guide rather than it being right on the plywood itself which will prevent it from being damaged at all. Uh, I have previously put together a plan so I've been, I planned this thing out so I know what I'll be doing cutting but here goes the cut. Uh, be running the saw across the across the wood and it's supported on, uh, <coughs> on the front and the back so it won't fall down and cramp the saw in the middle. So you won't be able to hear the saw, but uh, it makes a lot of noise on the other track. I'll see if I can't meld the other track in here. And I had this thing on YouTube, and I had a lot of complaints about background noise because this was one of my first videos, and it had in the background the radio was left on, and I didn't realize it till after it had already been made. So I ended up with a video with a soundtrack with the radio in the background which is very annoying if you're listening to the thing so the cuts going well I'll be finishing it up here in a second and then I'll go show you some more details of how how the wood is supported and what the plan looked like when I uh, <coughs> drew it up so I'm walking around now to show you the, the things I used to support it there's two two saw horses there and a, and a workmate which keeps it supported and be from being pinched so if you don't do that you end up pinching the wood and pinching the saw blade and uh, believe me it doesn't work very well there's the cut plan that I had and that's what I'm going to end up when I finish cutting it I'm going to take the smaller piece that I cut here and move it into another saw so that's about it hope all right, I'm back in the shop now. I'll show you uh, how to how I make a second cut on this thing after the major cuts already been made. I need a 15 inch wide piece here, so I'm using my uh, delta saw. something here. You need to have something to support it when it comes off of the uh, table saw. Otherwise it flops down and it hits the ground and sometimes messes things up. So you put this rigid flip top back there. Okay. 